Saving money is important. It is a great way to increase your savings and have faith in your financial objectives. This video will give you tips and tricks and some strategies that you can use to save more money, even in your necessities and basic needs. And if you're new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life hack content. Before we talk about saving money, there are three things that we need to consider and do to help us save money. First, think of and set your general goal. Wealthy people are goal setters. They make a list of their daily, weekly, and monthly goals and can tell you where they hope to be in 10 years. In this case, what is your goal 5 years from now? How do you want to see yourself in the future? Do you want to be a billionaire or own a house? Do you want to treat yourself and your family to a vacation? Set goals. Decide where you want to be in a year or 5 years because knowing this will help you prepare for the future and determine how serious you need to be about saving money to achieve your goals. Second, plan and create your budget. A budget is a terrific tool for helping you manage your money and pay off debt. You cannot make a budget if you are unsure of how much money you spend on meals and other expenses. Create a monthly budget using Excel, Google Sheets, or pen and paper to save money. By adding each item to a spreadsheet or your list, you can see how much money your family spends each month and how much of that goes to expenses like rent and utilities. You can modify this form to build a personalized budget for you if you want to save more money. Or, you can make your own template to track where your money goes each month. Third, create your specific goals. Your initial goal is your primary goal. That is, your general financial goal. Now, out of this general goal, you set your specific goals that are more short-term and can be monitored. As you concentrate on your long-term goals, your specific short-term goals will help direct your overall approach and prioritizing. By setting specific goals and achieving them, you will experience success. Each requirement will lead to the next goal and new opportunities for you. If you're able to save $10 a month, you'll be able to save more in succeeding months and years, which eventually leads to achieving your general goal and resulting in financial freedom in the future. You will once more begin with little quantities. Find out where you can fit your goals into that budget. As you gain experience in budgeting and making wiser financial decisions, you may want to increase your goals. Therefore, determine where you can be within that budget and confirm that it is appropriate for your situation. Let's now explore the five basic needs of every individual. Food, clothing, shelter, health, and transportation. These are the bare minimum requirements for living. Every man perishes in the absence of these. Since we live in a real world where we can't always rely on anyone to aid us, we must start taking action to achieve these goals of saving money. And we will be talking deeper about these five essential needs and there's ways to cut back on each of these categories. 1. Food Food is one of a family's greatest expenses, so this is the area we'll concentrate on. For example, changing your diet can help you become healthier and save you a ton of money. You can also save money by buying products at a discount. It's crucial and a smart money-saving move to reduce food expenses without growing hungry. Making your own food or dining in at home are all effective ways to achieve this, as well as taking into account purchasing store-branded or non-branded goods. 2. Shelter Most people don't have enough money to help them deal with the rising cost of housing. Most people consider moving to a less expensive area when they want to reduce their housing expenses. However, there are also additional places where you might be able to make savings. If you're searching for a solution to lower your housing expenses, think about renting out a room in your house or sharing an apartment through services like Airbnb. By switching electricity providers, you can save money on utilities in another way. You might also check around for a different electricity or Wi-Fi provider that provides comparable services for less money than your present supplier might. 3. Transportation Owning and maintaining a car, van, or truck may easily cost upwards of $9,000 annually. A car might not be the ideal choice for you if you live in a city and have easy access to public transportation. Public transportation is inexpensive and provides a wide range of options, including Uber-like services. Before deciding whether owning a car is worthwhile or whether you should just rent one, or staying nearby where there are more amenities associated with owning one, consider how much you spend on gas each month how much it costs to have your car inspected and serviced, and all of your other expenses associated with owning the vehicle. You can save hundreds of dollars if you can reduce your reliance on transportation. It can be tough to avoid owning a car in rural locations, but you'll be considerably better off if you can reduce your car use. 4. Clothing 
Consider clothing in the same way you would any other budget item. It must be factored in into your overall spending. Consider the times you went into debt to purchase items or stopped buying clothes because you had enough. How much you're willing to spend on items like apparel depends on your body shape, your preferred styles, and other factors. Unsubscribing for all of these emails from clothing companies is the best way to reduce your clothing budget. They are hired to persuade customers to believe that they are saving on something in order for them to make a purchase. Unsubscribe for any emails you don't want to stop being persuaded to buy clothes. It's usually a smart idea to take advantage of thrift store and consignment shop specials if you're on a limited budget or have the chance of visiting them. Ask how much something is worth and how much you can get for it before making a purchase at a thrift store to maximize your return. It might turn out that you can receive a lot of goods for free or for a lot less money than you would be to buy comparable brand new items. You can reduce your spending on clothing in this way. 5. Health Our society places a high value on good health. Making sure your body is being properly cared for is the best method to reduce it. One of the most important aspects of life is health. Yet many people spend a lot of money on medical expenses due to illnesses brought on by poor eating habits, consumption of unhealthy foods, lack of exercise, and others. Even though it may not seem important right now, if you continue to abuse your body in the future, those small things could end up costing you a lot more money. Treat your body like a temple. Health is one of the most important things in your life. So take care of your body so you can keep living a happy life. Health should not be a luxury. It should be a goal. Cut back on health costs by treating your body right to keep it healthy and alive. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to upgrade your life from what you have to what you deserve, click the subscribe button now.